I, I want to read this quote by Herbert Hoover. I am a most unhappy man. I've unwittingly ruined my country. A great industrial nation is controlled by its system of credit. Our system of credit is concentrated. The growth of the nation, therefore, and all our activities are in the hands of a few men. We've come to be one of the worst ruled, one of the most completely controlled and dominated governments in the civilized world. No longer a government by free opinion, no longer a government by conviction and the vote of the majority, but a government by the opinion and duress of a small group of dominant men. President Woodrow Wilson, who introduced the Federal Reserve Act, which allowed the privately owned Federal Reserve to begin in 1913. Shortly after, the Nazis came to power and basically diverted everyone's attention from the real coup that happened globally. And you know, these guys funded the Nazis and the allied governments as well. So, let's get some names. Rockefeller, Rothschild, Carnegie, DuPont. I don't want to just start naming other names that I don't really know. I mean, you hear other names like J.P. Morgan. Some of these guys are dead, and it's like their grandkids are, you know, it's like, who, who really controls the show? Usually the elder male, very hierarchical system they've got going, where the like, old gentlemen come together in their smoking lounges. I don't know, ma'am. You don't really get to see who owns what because there are corporations that own corporations that are stockholders. Like, and then the stockholders are the corporation itself. And you'll be like, who owns this corporation? Nothing comes back. Like, ideally, someone will put together like a corporate list of all the corporations and who owns what, but then you'd be like, right to privacy. Obviously, if, it, if you're going to like have a business, but some of these these businesses aren't registered with the U.S. government. They don't have like regulations. They basically are considered international and have their bank of international settlements that says that no bank or government can peer into their business, and they can do work with whoever, whenever. All signed and documented. Basically, we repeal the Federal Reserve Act of 1913 and make our Congress print the money. Give somebody, we could actually make some jobs that way. Yeah, a lot of Federal Reserve employees might lose their job, but they could always work for the government. Oh, good luck getting a bunch of rich private business owners to give up their wealth. These guys print the money, these people. They decide when it gets printed, who it gets given to, and what the interest rate is. And they let the other people kind of decide the interest rate. Any interest is called usury, because you're using people. I mean, I could see not wanting to get ripped off as a loner, but the whole argument goes out the window, first of all, when you say that there is no standard, that we have a fiat standard, we're not on like a gold-based standard, so that money is only worth what they say it's worth. Like, so for them to argue that you know they can't print money on any argument that's beyond if it will cause inflation and like if you get people to spend money on like how would you deflate an economy but get it to spend money on part of the system that is producing the money so you spend money like at Ralph's grocery store you go to like the grocery store you spend money that grocery store is owned by somebody that's owned by somebody that's owned by somebody that's owned by somebody and that money goes back into this Federal Reserve System this Bank of International Settlements because these guys these people like uh, Evelyn Rothschild people like him like his friends and stuff that run in this gang own all the like the, the civil corporations, basically, Pepsi, I mean, you name it. It, it. Even the privately owned shit is paying so much property tax. It's just that's where the money gets deflated from, and they'll just raise the taxes to deflate the currency. 
and they'll do it slow so people don't go up in arms, you know. Like they'll do like a percent or whatever every year, or point point of a percentage. No one after 20 years, you know, the adults are too old to care, and the new people just assume that it's always kind of been like that. I remember when gas was like 89 cents a gallon for one summer on like a Wednesday or something at one gas station. That was in the 90s. It must have been like 95 or something. Um, maybe 96. Let's get back on track here. Okay, so these people have money based on, they just hand out money, but they have the, the courts signed that they are allowed to uh, print the money and that they're the only ones. Now, that's a harsh thing to get a government to agree to. Give up the government to give up its own control. I wasn't there when it got signed, but it sounds like somebody was either bribed or forced to write that. Because what unhindered free human would give up their power willingly without anything to gain? Like, why would you not want the option of printing your own currency at any given moment? So these guys really paid off the right people in the early 1900s and just bribed their way to own everything and you know they created their Monsanto they had their Monsanto guy and then they had all their their oil company and their you know powder company and their steel company and their Edison kinda of came along and they had their electric company and like you know they get their hands all in the F the FDA I was gonna say but like in like the the FAA the flight you know all the flights and shit as soon as that started becoming commercial um, but they basically supply the oil. So like you, they went around and bought, they were like, how many newspapers in the early 1900s? They were like, how many newspapers? We'll get 12 of the best newspaper men on the market and pay them as much as we can. Tell them that we want them to find us the best newspapers in the world, all of them in the United States or wherever and uh, we'll buy them. And they realized they only needed to own 25 of the newspapers, the most influential newspapers, to gain control of popular opinion. Um, so that's what we're up against. And it's like, if you don't put forth the effort, and if you like do a lot of effort, you can take some time off, but like, work to break the system if you don't make it a way of life the system just creeps back over everything then you forget and you're like oh I need to get that paycheck and you like forget that we're not in a perfect system we're not even in a functioning system like if this was a ship it would be considered sinking there would be a hole in it called inflation economic inflation and it would be taking on water in the form of debt it's going faster than they can undo short of a return to zero type of thing which is you know not an option transfer debt to the government which is totally an option we could make the creditors pay back the debt um, which is would basically be return to nil um, but that's their industry you know they, they make there's these people that make a lot of money off interest and to get them or people they are money buddy buddy with to uh, break that system, sometimes it, it takes a strong arm, you know? Who wants to be the guy that strong arms the credit companies into giving up their credit companies or losing the main function of it, which is to collect interest? I do. So, it's more fun to do with people, this life, you know. Man, I just want to make it entertaining for myself and everyone else. 
and then I just want to like go play my video games like for a little while and then go to bed. I'm like, that's okay too. Video games that got programmed by somebody with a creative mind, but on a little control console that was built by some plastic company that buys a bunch of plastic from some oil refinery to put these little electronics together, which are making somebody rich, which is probably owned by some... Well, the, the, it makes them rich on this economy. I keep coming back to this goddamn economy. This, The dollars that are owned by... This is the thing people forget. The dollars are owned by this group of people. They own the money. They own it. They, it is theirs. They're, we are playing with their money, these small people. And every time I come back to it, I want to know exactly who. And it's like the knowledge that will get you killed. Or maybe it won't. But that's what people, I think, are... The people that have got this far are afraid of really tangling with when you call someone out. But, like, if a group of people storm someone's house, they'll listen. They're not going to, like, be like, well, I've got so much money. It's like, no, 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 no. Don't get the kids in the basement. Don't let them burn the house down um, you know so the worst thing that would happen is you go after some people do it in the wrong way and they go after somebody and kill them and we go into uh, like a police state where all the very wealthy but it's like they've already lived in a police state these people with this security I assume it's as good as having a cop patrol your outside your front door or back door or both like, they live in that kind of security, most, a lot of these people. So, like, you can still approach the house, you know? They don't have, like, the Air Force there bombing people that keep trying to get close to the house. But, you know, it's not like we're trying to go get these people. I'm just saying that when they're confronted face-to-face, -face, they know what they've done is a scam. That's what it comes down to. No amount of writing about it, no amount of making videos about it. Obviously, that's not true because writing and making videos about it brings attention to more people that are more likely to get up and confront these people face to face. I want to know who they are. I've heard names before. I want to know who owns the Bank of International Settlements. Who owns those seven corporations that have majority stock in the Bank of International Settlements? And are those even real names? I mean, good Lord. But who owns them, you know? What are the names of the heads of these families? That's a good start. But, like, I want to know and see documentation of who owns the companies that own the bank. Thank you and good night.